Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joppy Noodle Legs and Sullivan here today. Uh, we've got another movie video for you today. Um, quite a good one today. It's not all horror based. There will be a few horrors in here, but it's not all. What I'm doing today, do you remember about three or four weeks ago, I did the 12 Gems of Horror, which to me were films that, not necessarily all big films, but were real sort of gems in the horror, like... Um, really good films so if you watch them you're guaranteed to be watching a good film so i've got another one here it's just i'm, I'm going to call it the 12 gems of cinema because basically what this is is just 12 movies that i think are real gems to uh the cinema movies to movies and i think everybody should sort of watch that there's loads i could have put in here guys but i i, I uh, it's just 12 so i couldn't put more in i mean look i'm looking over at my collection now because i didn't want to just put all horrors in there i mean i could have put in films like um taxi driver you know gandhi and films like that the elephant man really really cool films but i, I didn't put them in this 12 um but there's so many right gems i will do probably a hidden gem video at some point ones that are sort of like really awesome films that no one really knows about you know and they're sort of like really hidden gems and movies i might do one of those soon but this is just you'll probably know most of these films but these are movies to me that i personally think are amazing films and they're just real gems and it's like everyone should at least see these films at least once so we'll crack on. Anyway, there's 12, because it's 12 uh, gems of cinema. Uh, they're not in, the, so it's not best to last. They're, they're just random, okay? So we've got The Revenant with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. This is a, a, a Western. Um, it's basically about this Leonardo DiCaprio, and he's got a son who's like half Indian. And he, he's like a, a, a soldier in the army and he gets tormented a lot by the other soldiers and the soldiers i think they kill his son and they leave him left for dead then he suffers a huge bear attack but then he gets picked up and he, he recovers and he goes on a revenge hunt to the to the soldiers that have uh, done that to him and his son it's an amazing film absolutely incredible and i just think it's so underrated it's such an underrated film I absolutely love it. If you hear any squeaking, it's Sullivan. He's just gone and found his ball. He's obsessed with balls. Ain't you, mate? You love your ball ball? Yeah, he's, he's got loads of them and he's obsessed with them. Anyway, The Revenant. What an amazing film. Absolutely love it. Uh, next up is a film with Matt Damon. <laughs> Starring Matt Damon. And this is The Martian. Uh, this is another really good film. It's about um, a group of scientists that have gone to Mars to obviously do Mars. But and like an accident happens and I think some of them get away in a spaceship and he gets left behind and they think because they think he's dead. But he's not. He's still alive. And he sort of builds up his own little world there and sort of farm and trying to reconnect to the Earth to say, look, I'm still here uh, and stuff like that. And and it's it's a survival um film and he like builds his own little farm and it's it's a really really um good sort of film it's quite a good watch um and it looks amazing it's really cool i've got the 4k edition and it looks really really cool it's such a good film um i've only seen it twice i think because it is quite a long film i think it's like nearly two and a half hours if i remember right it's been a little while but the martian is definitely worth checking out Next up is a classic, one of my favourites of all time, and it's been in my top 20 all-time favourite movies. Uh, I, I can't talk about it in, in, enough. Um, I just absolutely love it. It, it stars um, the amazing Richard Dreyfus, and it's still Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third, guy, third Kind. This is an absolute gem of a film. It really is, and it's... I don't know, it's, it's when, when people talk about science fiction films, that they, they tend to, it's not normally included, and I don't understand why. It's incredible. It's got that real sort of eerie 
atmosphere to the film of like because back in the day in the sort of like late 70s and the 80s there was a real fascination with um uh sort of like extraterrestrial sort of um uh life forms and there, there, you know and there was so much going on i mean not just in movies but around the world everyone was into stargazing and it was really popular you know even even i think i had a little telescope and stuff like that and it, it was just really really cool and this was such a great film it's so cool it's really good and the it still holds up today this transfer this 4k transfer is incredible it's amazing it looks stunning uh, and the effects still look really good you know i mean obviously the effects have come on a long long way but this still looks really really cool absolutely love it you're right mate you got your another ball ball he's got four ball balls up here now he's going downstairs bringing one up then going down and bringing another one up crazy right because i'm in my games room this is the top floor of my house my my house is four stories high um so i'm on the top floor <laughs> anyway close encounters of the third kind uh, next one is a, a sort of psychological thriller, um, stroke semi-horror, I don't know. But it's with Michael Douglas and it's called Falling Down. And this is about a guy, an office guy that's having a really bad day, pretty much. His car breaks down, it's the hottest day of the year. No one's trying to help him out and he just loses it. He just loses it. Um, and he, and it's, it's a really cool film. Uh, falling down if you've not seen it i i love it I, i've watched this two or three times but he, he just gets sort of like he, he finds he just um he goes to this weapon store and he finds out that the uh the the, the guy there is like a sort of pro-nazi guy and he ends up killing him it, he holds up like a, a fast food restaurant because he wants breakfast but they say no it's too late you gotta have dinner now and so it, it's really really cool such a cool film really really good falling down if you've not seen it watch it really good next up is a it, I, I would class this as a horror film um it was it's one of the sort of really under not talked about at all films from the 80s and it's called sudden comfort this is an amazing film basically it's about a group of soldiers on a uh, a normal sort of training in Louisiana in America in the sort of swamp area and they, they all they got with them is is sort of blank uh firearms that with blank with blank bullets you know they're, they're not real bullets and they sort of get stalked by the rednecks sort of um, that are living around there and it's it's a re and they're like lost it's it's, a, it's an amazing film really really cool film no one ever talks about it in fact i'm going to watch it and do a, a review of it okay i think it needs a push and i think you guys need to be seeing that film sudden comfort next up is another classic um really really cool film i would also class this as a horror film um although most people would say it was a psychological thriller uh, it stars nick nolte jessica lang and robert de niro and it's called Cape Fear. This is the 30th anniversary edition. So it's got a really quite a nice sort of remastered um, print on there. Um, okay, this story is pretty much about um, Robert De Niro plays like a criminal who's been put in prison. And Nick Nolte plays like, I think like the solicitor who I think I think is representing him, but you know, he, he lost the case and he ended up going to prison he's come back to revenge and he sort of stalks him and his family and it's it's a stalking film so it's it's got elements of 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 horror in there um and 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 it's got some amazing scenes i love the way the film shot i think it's martin scorsese made this film i'm sure he did yeah he did um really really cool Trying to think of the name. Oh, uh, uh, Juliette Lewis starred in this, as well as the daughter. Really cool film. If you've not seen Cape Fear, yeah. I, I, in fact, I will I will review that as well. I think that needs a review. Cape Fear. 
staying with the sort of crime. Uh, I'm going to a serial killer film now, which again doesn't get a lot of talked about a lot to be honest. And this is Zodiac, um, about the Zodiac killer in the 19. It's based on true story in the 1960s and 70s. Uh, based about a serial killer, and it's about a police officer played by Iron Man <laughs> um, who's trying to track down the, the killer. So it's a it's a cop um serial killer hunting film um but it's amazing really really cool in fact i think there's a couple more in here that we're going to get on to as well because i love those sort of films i do like a real psychological thriller film especially if it's around sort of serial killers or something like that it's just i don't know i just find that there's some sort of morbid fascination with it isn't it really and i just find them really interesting to watch and this is a really cool film, a really long film. Again, it's about two and a half hours long. So it can be a bit of a slow burn. But it, it's an incredible film. You know, it's probably got the, the, the lamest uh, cover ever. Is it reversible? Let's see if the re reversible cover... Yeah, the reversible cover is not any better, really, to be honest. It's just, that's the reversible cover. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really much better. But yeah, it's a bit of a boring cover, but that's okay. I like it, and it's a great film. It's it's not... A, it was filmed, um, I think, branded in about in the sort of like early 2000s, but it's got a real 1970s feel to it. Uh, the costumes are pretty much exact, and, and it looks really, really cool, of like 1970s sort of America. Zodiac, really good film. So we're halfway through. We're six movies down, and... So we're getting here. We've got six more. Uh, next up is a classic sort of um, thriller. Um, this one stars uh, Jean Reno and uh, Natalie Portman and the amazing Gary Oldman. And it's Leon. This is about Leon, played by uh, Jean Reno, who plays like a... Uh, he's, he's a hitman. Um, and he befriends the young girl. Um, played by Natalie Portman, and she, he's teaching her to be like a hitman because her whole family gets killed by Gary Oldman, who's, who plays a cop, who's like a crooked cop, and he sort of gets killed, the whole family gets killed, including her little brother, and so it so turns into sort of like a hitman revenge movie. Uh, really, really good film. There's some quite good comedy moments in it as well. It's quite funny, but it's also quite... Um, the ending's a bit sad, but... A really, really cool film, Leon. That's that's one of my 12. Um, next one is a set of films, so I'm cheating again. And it's the uh, Dirty Harry films, Clint Eastwood. I do love 70 cop films. I don't know why. There's just something about the 70s sort of time period when it, it, everything just had, I don't know, the images were, you know, the flares and <laughs> everything and the big sort of like Afro haircuts and all that sort of, and the funk music and the blues. I just love the 70s era. I don't know why, I just do. Um, uh, but mind you, quite a few of these were in the 80s. But um, Dirty Harry series. He plays, it's about, Clint Eastwood plays Har Harry Cunningham as a, as a police officer. And the first one's about, he's chasing a serial killer. The second, they're all pretty much serial killer ones as well. Um, and, and it's really, really cool. Great series of films, similar to sort of like um, Charles Bronson's Death, Death Wish. So they're, they're really cool films, is the, the Dirty Harry's. So we're getting there now, guys. I've only got, what, three more left to go. Uh, next up is another <laughs> psychological thriller. Uh, surprise, surprise. Another serial killer one with Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt. And this is Seven um, with Ke and Kevin Spacey. Um, this is a really, really cool film. Um, again, it's based around a serial killer. That's killing people under the seven deadly sins. And they're trying to investigate it. Brad Pitt, <coughs> excuse me, and Morgan Freeman are the investigating officers. And Kevin Spacey is the suspect. Um, and Brad Pitt is, is quite a new recruit to the... Uh, to the precinct and then him and his wife have just moved there so it's a little bit of a relationship story going on with morgan freeman brad pitt and his wife they're building a sort of friendship around there so th that's really quite cool as well gives the film a little dimension but it's it's a really really cool film really good um 
don't see I don't know if you see any killings to be honest I think they're all aftermath killings to be honest I think he's they're going to investigate the actual crime scenes so that's really cool that's why I like it and there's a few video games like that so that's why I really like it because it reminds me of them uh, next one that's a bit of a different one it's a um, 1970s film uh, and it's based in a um, a uh, mental institution and it stars Jack Nicholson it's one flew over the cuckoo's nest uh, this is a great film he's like a a prolific sort of um, criminal who they believe well he's obviously got uh, mental issues that are making him cause him to doing these crimes and so he gets uh, admitted into this mental institution with all these different uh, people with sort of like different mental issues you've got it's quite a good cast you've got Christopher Lloyd in there uh, Danny DeVito's in it so it's quite a big cast and the young lad that was in uh, The Exorcist 3 and uh, I think he was also in a Yes, I might have been an urban legend or something, but the name surpasses me now. Uh, what film, what his name is, but yeah, he's in it as well. Really cool. Um, basically, he's in there, and he sort of befriends the people in there, and they sort it helps them to sort of try and rebel against sort of like the uh, the nursing staff that are in there and stuff like that. And it has a little bit of a tragic end, uh, which I won't tell you about. But what an incredible film! I think it won multiple Oscars, this film. Um, yeah, five Oscars it won. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Great film. And we're sticking with Oscar winners for the last one. And it's my favourite um, prison film. I'm not, I, I don't have many prison movies. I'm not a massive fan. I, I don't mind The Green Mile. I thought that was okay. Um, I, I like the sort of more... The, the 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 prison ones I did like were Murder in the First and Prison and and, and a few sort of horror films uh, and Ghosts of the Civil Dead was a really good prison film but this is my favourite and this is a, based on the true story of a Turkish prison and it's a Midnight Express this is a fantastic film a star in the amazing John Hurt uh, God rest his soul um, it's a great film and it's about this young lad here he's smuggling drug it's a true story he was smuggling drugs out of turkey gets caught and ends up in and in, in turkey their prisons uh against drugs is really high so you're in there for a long long time and their prisons are harsh you know they're really bad so it, it, it's a very harrowing watch it's quite a haunting watch it's a bit disturbing in places and it can be quite gory as well um, but it's a really really good film I love Midnight Express. I love the soundtrack. Um, it's a great film. Please watch Midnight Express. Out of all these films, watch this one. Okay. 12 Gems. 12 Gems of the Cinema that I think are should be um, looked upon as some of the greatest films in history. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's quite a long video, but there we are. Uh, I said I might do another one, 12 gems, but 12 hidden gems, uh, which could be more horror based, probably. Um, but I might do that, okay? But until then, go and check out some more channels for me. Check out Horror Hands and check out The Horror Geek. Uh, check out um, Peter Well. Excuse me. I've just had my dinner, so I keep burping a lot. Um, Go and check out uh, Man V Film. Go and check out RS Designs, uh, Sarah of Horror, and of course, Horror and Todge. Please check those channels out, guys. Until next time, you look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I see you all soon.